learning objectives after studying this module students will be able to understand about economic problem understand how economics is linked with statistics understand the use of statistics in various other subjects and how they are related know about the quantitative and qualitative data learn about the uses of statistics introduction what is economics as per alfred marshall economics is a study of man in the ordinary business of life basic concepts used in economics consumer a consumer is a person who buys goods and services to satisfy his or her needs or to satisfy needs of the family a consumer is the end user of the product seller a seller is the person who sells goods and services to the consumers producer a farmer or any manufacturing company who produce goods or provide services to the users is called as producer employee the employee is conventional versus modern economics conventional divisions of study of economics the study of consumption tells how the consumer decides which product to buy with his given income and alternatives available goods in the same way study of production helps us to know how the producer chooses what he has to produce and how to produce for the market the study of distribution helps us to know the national income or gdp is distributed wages profits and interests modern economics modern economics included some basic problems facing by the country like how many people in the country are actually poor how many are middle class and how the income is distributed in the modern economics we study the facts related to the problems of country so that appropriate actions can be demanded from the government like how many people are literate how many are unemployed how many are highly educated that is why we need statistics which is a study of numbers related to the selected facts in a systematic manner so we can say that economics is the study of how people and society choose to employ scarce resources that have alternative uses in order to produce various commodities that satisfy their wants and to distribute them for consumption among various persons and groups in society statistics in economics we have learned that there are certain studies that deal with the basic problems facing by a country these studies require that we should know more about the facts related to these problems these economic facts are known as economic data why we collect data for economic problems generally we collect data for the purpose of understanding the cause behind these problems or we can say that we want to analyze these problems for example when we analyze the poverty then we try to understand the various reasons which are behind this problem like lack of employment backward technology or low productivity of people but if don't find any solutions to solve these problems then there is no point of analyzing so we should try to find the measures to solve economic problems these measures are called as policies so that's why we need data of the factors that triggers the economic problems 
so that we can analyze the economic problems and policies can be framed to find the solutions for these problems. So, that's why we need statistics and economics and statistics are interrelated. Definition of Statistics The word statistics refers to the numbers that are used to describe data or their relationships. Statistics is the collection, analyzing, interpretation and presentation numerical data. The statistics is a branch of mathematics which is working with collection, organizing, analyzing, interpretation and presentation of data. But it is also used in other disciplines like accounting, economics, management, physics, sociology, psychology and finance. There are two types of data is being used in economics. One, quantitative. Two, qualitative. Quantitative data. Most of the economics data are quantitative. For example, the production of wheat in India has increased from 40 million tons in 1975 to 120 million in 2014. So, this is a quantitative data. Qualitative data In economics, qualitative data is also being used. This data describes attributes of a single person or group of persons which is important to record as accurately in spite of not being measured in quantitative terms. For example, gender of a person that distinguishes a person as a man or woman. Such qualitative information is used in economics and other social sciences, collected and stored systematically like quantitative information on prices, income, tax paid, etc. for a single person or group of persons. After collection of data, the next step is to represent data in the form of tabular, graphic and diagrammatic forms. Then, the data is summarized by calculating mean, variance, standard deviation, etc. Finally, the data are analyzed and interpreted. Uses of Statistics Statistics is a tool that is used by economists to understand the economic problem. With the help of statistics methods, an economist can find out the qualitative and quantitative causes which are behind the economic problems. Once the economist find out the causes of the problem, then accordingly policies can be framed to solve those problems. Statistics represents the economic facts in precise and definite forms. When economic facts are represented with the help of statistics, then they become exact. For example, if we say hundreds of people dies in Uttarakhand due to cloud burst, then it's a vague statement. But if we say 120 people lost died in Uttarakhand, due to massive cloud burst, then it is exact number. Let us understand how statistics is useful. Statistics help in reducing mass data into few numerical measures like means, variance, etc. And these measures help to summarize data. Like, one cannot remember salary of all the employees if the number of people is large. But, one can remember easily the summary figure like average income. Statistics helps to find relationships between different economic factors. Like, how demand will get affected if price of the commodity increases or decreases. Such relationships can be easily verified by applying statistical methods to their data. 
An economist can also find out the impact of change in one economic factor due to change in another economic factor. Statistics methods help to formulate appropriate economic policies that can be used to solve economic problems. In economics, statistics play a major role in decision making also. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Economics is a study of man in the ordinary business of life. A consumer is a person who buys goods and services to satisfy his or her needs or to satisfy needs of the family. A consumer is the end user of the product. A seller is the person who sells goods and services to the consumers. A farmer or any manufacturing company who produce goods or provide services to the users is called as producer. The employee is the person who provides his or her services to the others and get paid for that. An employer is the person who pays wages to the employees. Economic activities are done for the monetary gain. Scarcity is the limited resources to satisfy our unlimited wants. The study of consumption tells how the consumer decides which product to buy with his given income and alternatives available goods. The study of production helps us to know how the producer chooses what he has to produce and how to produce for the market. The study of distribution helps us to know how the national income or GDP is distributed wages, profits and interests. Statistics is the collection, analyzing, interpretation and presentation numerical data. There are two types of data is being used in economics, quantitative, qualitative. Qualitative data describes attributes of a single person or group of persons which is important to record as accurately in spite of not being measured in quantitative terms. Statistics represents the economic facts in precise and definite forms. 